Welcome back for more Reddit story videos. Today we have several entitled parent stories for you to enjoy. As always, don't forget to share and like if you enjoyed these videos. Without further ado, here we go. Your daughter will marry my kid, Rolls. M, my mom, S, my sister, me, yours truly, EM, Demon Overlord, EK, Demon Apprentice. So this happened back around 2010, 2011, and it's the only EP encounter I have ever had. My sister was 4 at the time and I was 8. I'm 16 now. Mom was taking us to this big indoor playground for sister's birthday. We get there and mom purchases our wristbands and tell us to go have fun and be safe. She finds a bench and starts reading a book she brought. S and myself were having a blast, climbing through rope tunnels and sliding down huge slides. Calm before the storm. Up climbs EK, about 4 or 5, who asks us to play with him. We loved making friends and I readily suggested we play hide and seek. EK wanted to be it so he started counting and we went to hide. It was pretty loud in there so I couldn't hear when he was done counting. About 5 minutes passed and I peeked around not seeing him anywhere, it was pretty open and I could see almost everything. As my eyes dart around I finally spot him about 15 feet away from me and to my surprise was standing behind S, lifting her arms around her stomach. I was around 8 but old enough to know that he was not well enough acquainted with S to be doing something like that. I run over and tell him to put S down. I stand in shock as he says, no, she is my girlfriend and we're getting married. I look at S and she is obviously in distress, sobbing her eyes out. This little hell spawn made my sister cry. Nobody makes my sister cry. I kick EK in the shin, to which he responds by licking my sister's arm and without hesitation she lets out her famous piercing scream, getting the attention from M, EM and the other adults and kids. We were pretty high up in the playground but everyone could see us clearly. Nearby staff dealing with situations like this daily quickly make their way up to defuse us kids. My only goal was to protect my sister. EK still squeezing her and now biting her arm. I managed to wrestle him away from S. I quickly guided her down a slide to the bottom to M, who was absolutely flabbergasted at what had just happened. Staff emerged from the playground with EK, who was crying and screaming for EM. Karen. My baby, she wailed. By this time, EK was screaming bloody murder. EM instantly whirls to me. You are in big trouble, you little shit. Look what you did to my little angel. He was just playing. I was scared. Being yelled at by a strange like this, EK threw his tears, had the audacity to yell, I want to marry her. EM turns to M and says, tell your daughter to apologize and be my little baby's girlfriend now. My mother was done. She just brought us so we could have a fun day. She said in a very firm tone, use your inside voice please. <laughs> EM stands in absolute horror at being ordered before continuing her rant. EM, my son deserves your a-hole daughter. She lunges forwards and grabs for my crying sister who was on M's lap. My mother raises her voice, keep your hands off of my girl. Her voice quaking. EM keeps making movements towards my sister before slapping my mother across the face and then the following. My mother calmly sets my sister aside and stands up. She reaches into her back pocket, slowly bringing her hand up in front of her and in her hand, her police badge. Oof. EM's eyes practically came out of their sockets. I think you can put together the rest. EM was charged and obviously found guilty. She suffered jail time and anger classes. I don't know what happened to EK but he was young then and probably had mental anger issues and I wish him good wherever he may be today. My sister remembers everything and is still hesitant to be around boys a lot. Sorry if this is a bit long, I have other stories to share in the future. See you then. You're getting married? But what about my cruise? Cast GC, good cousin, GH, good husband, GC's husband, EC, entitled cousin, GC's twin sister and you can call her evil cousin too, both works. So this story doesn't involve me too much but I know quite a lot about EC's actions and behavior through stories family members and GC told me. Ever since we were little kids, my cousin GC and I have been best buds. 
We lived only a few miles away from one another so we would bike to each other's houses, play in our backyards and play video games. GC comes from an extremely wealthy family. Her dad, my uncle, started a business when he was 20 and it has been super successful to the point there are now several large locations across the globe. Even though this family is crazy rich, they live a very modest lifestyle. They live in a small two-story home on a few acres of land and a large pond take up most of it. The one lavish thing they do is that every two or three years they go on a cruise. GC is one of the three children, she has an older brother and her identical twin sister EC. You may think the good twin evil twin scenario is only seen on the TV screen, but GC and EC are the real world equivalent. GC is kind and generous while EC is selfish and entitled. EC always had this idea in her head that because her dad was so wealthy, she didn't have to lift a finger in life to get what she wanted. Good things just came to her, GC and her brother, but GC had the common sense to know that she can't always rely on daddy's money. Despite getting pretty much everything they wanted growing up, GC and her brother never had entitled attitudes. Their parents are also super nice, so EC was always the evil standout of the family. EC attitude only got worse as time went on. Eventually, EC got married and had a kid, a boy. EC's husband is just as nasty as she is. They were kind of made for each other. EC always wanted to rub her child in GC's face, like she wanted to gloat about having a kid before she did. GC had a history of bad relationships, including those that involved verbal and physical abuse. One time she came to her sister for advice after her boyfriend beat her. EC had the nerve to blame her weight and not using makeup to make herself more attractive. GC was afraid to date anyone after her last relationship disaster, but that changed when she finally met the man of her dreams, GH. I met GH personally and he's a giant teddy bear of a guy. He's the perfect guy to help heal GC's old wounds and give her the loving, happy life she deserves. Then, nearly two years later, after they met, GC and GH were engaged. The entire family was thrilled that GC finally got the man of her dreams and her father wanted to throw a boatload of money to her to help pay for a beautiful wedding. For future reference, he did the same thing for EC when she got married. Yet EC was not happy about how extravagant GC's wedding was going to be. GC wanted to be married at the Niagara Falls and invite basically everyone she knew and her father was going to pay for pretty much all of it. EC was furious. She talked to NC and the father about the wedding and how all the money being spent better not interfere with the family's upcoming cruise. Yes, they still went on cruises together every few years, despite the children being grown and having families of their own. Their father said that because of the wedding and how expensive it was going to be, the family cruise would have to be pushed back by another year or two. EC practically exploded. She blamed GC for taking the cruise away from her and her precious boy who was 5 at this point. She said she told her son how they were going on a cruise and how now he is going to be so upset now because his selfish aunt wanted to get married instead of giving him a happy week in the tropics. EC even had the audacity to demand GC to reschedule the wedding for next year so they could go on the cruise instead. GC, who is normally not a confrontational person, had it with her sister's attitude and told her if she wanted to go on a cruise, she would have to go pay for it herself. EC and her husband were nowhere near as wealthy as their father and there was no way he was going to reschedule his own daughter's wedding just to give EC what she wanted. EC rentings went on for weeks, flipping back and forth between blaming her sister for ruining her son's year and begging her father for money to go on a cruise because she and her family deserved it. She drove GC to tears and she ended up calling me up for advice. My only advice to her was to give EC, who normally gets everything, nothing. And by nothing, I mean don't invite her to the wedding. Like most sisters would do, GC wanted EC to be one of her bridesmaids as she was bridesmaids at EC's wedding. Not inviting her would be a major upset for everyone involved, but it just may be the thing to teach EC a lesson. So she did just that. GC called up her sister and flat out told her that if she didn't change her attitude, she didn't want it leaving a sore taste at her wedding. 
Again, EC blew up shouting at GC, calling her all sorts of names and again blaming her for the cruise being cancelled. GC hung up and decided to not invite her to the wedding. The wedding was amazing and I ended up being the bridesmaid to take EC's place. Yes, I was invited to the wedding originally, but GC didn't want me to be a bridesmaid only because she knew I hated dresses and I'd rather wear a suit. But I said I'd wear a dress just for her special day. It's been a few years now and GC and G hate have a beautiful little girl and have a baby boy on the way. EC is still in their lives and is still nasty as ever. But she doesn't come to her father begging for anything anymore because after her behavior towards him and GC, he threatened to leave her out of his will if she continued to pester either of them. Maybe now that she's not going to get everything handed to her on a silver plate, she will change her attitude for the better. Or at least that's what we all wish to happen. Entitled Dad tells me to stop dressing like a dyke. So a little background, I've been staying at my friend's dorm for the past couple weeks as a PSW in training for her. She lives in a very conservative town and I say this because her roommates and I cannot go anywhere without some random hick in a pickup truck honking at them and hooting about their tits. This story takes place a few days ago. I was walking around in Walmart. There's one not too far off from the campus my friend lives on and just minding my own business. My friend just got her student loan checked and she needs to get a new laptop. So I gave her some recommendations for what kind of specs she should use for her laptop since she wants this one to primarily be for her art and gaming. After doing so, I go to the men's clothing section. To those who have not yet read my previous Entitled Parents story, it is important to know that I am an assigned at birth female transitioning to male, FTM trans, and I am unfortunately cursed with curves in the wrong to some people right places. Because of this, I get glares from people when I am seen anywhere near the men's clothing section. Enter our entitled dad of the story. Him and his son are looking for the boys' clothes and I am walking to the men's section. The two of them are right next to each other in this Walmart. I say this because I don't know which other locations have their clothing sections laid out like that. And looking at a pair of shorts hanging near the aisle. The dad looks at me completely disgusted. He walks to me pushing his cart into my butt. At first I assumed it was an accident considering my size and I turn over to him. Am I in your way or something? I ask politely and move aside. This was my first mistake. How can you stand to walk around like that dyke? You should be more feminine with your body. He rants at me. I roll my eyes and begin to ignore him. I had gotten used to people misgendering me and I tried my hardest to block him out. This infuriates him even further and he hits me again with his cart. I grab his car by the end and slams it into his gut. Do you effing mind? I'm trying to shop in peace. I raise my voice at him and he stumbles back to the cart. As he is, I notice my friend coming around the corner with her laptop bag in tow. I would have been happy about this, but she tends to get extremely confrontational. I hope this guy would F off and just let me be before we cause the scene and got banned from Walmart. This did not happen. I do mind, you and your disgusting lifestyle are traumatizing my child. I am not going to raise a crybaby faggot who thinks it's okay to cross dress. He yells in my face. My friend sees this and she gets pissed off. She walks over to the two of us and get her plastic bag on the ground and up to me. Keep in mind that she is in jean vest, short jeans and a tank top. If either one of us had looked like a dyke, it was her. She has a few EP stories of her own, but until I get her permission, I won't post them on her behalf. If it offends you so badly, then don't look at him, you effing asshole, she says aggressively. The entitled dad is now directing himself to her and she can tell he is about to lay into her. Before he gets to the point of tearing her apart, she immediately starts again. Oh wait, you rather get offended over someone being comfortable in this godforsaken heat and not cover themselves and suffer like you and your wife? Effing traumatizing your child and F you too. I hope your kid does grow up in this culture of being trans just to spite your bigotry. She yells. I grab her arm because I can see an employee coming over to the scene and I really do not need to have her heated over the employee stepping in. I grab her back and we storm off. The dad is livid at this point and he screams out about how we are a couple of dyke sluts who are going to end up in hell for our actions or something. 
Funny point in story, the child wasn't crying at all or staring at us in disgust, just another person trying to hide behind her child as an excuse for bigotry and transphobia. Plus side of the story, I ended up with some good looking button up tops from my friend. So those were the stories for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, a like would be highly appreciated. It really does help my channel out. Also, if you enjoy this and want to stay up to date on the latest videos, then don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for listening and I will see you in the next video.